What's up y'all, Alvin here, and these are my five favorite redfish flies. I tell the good jokes. <laughs> Okay, so I made a whole series of videos about the basics of red fishing, how to catch redfish on a fly. And in this one, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into some specific flies, specific fly patterns that I use to catch redfish. Several of these are flies that I've made videos on how to tie these flies, and I'll leave links in the description if you wanna tie any of these flies yourself. Some of these are specific patterns, and some of these are just uh, styles of flies. Let's get into it. All right, so probably the number one fly for me for catching redfish is gonna be a Clouser minnow. And just like uh, for bass fishing, probably my number one go-to is going to be a chartreuse and white Clouser. So I tie them in chartreuse, chartreuse and white, tan and white, pink and white, all kinds of different colors as well as different sizes. So I'll have clousers with lead eyes, I'll have clousers with bead chain eyes, I'll have clousers with even plastic eyes, you know, for really light flies, really shallow water. But the clouser is probably the most versatile fly for catching redfish. You can tie it in a bunch of different colors, bunch of different sizes, bunch of different weights. So number one is gonna be a clouser minnow. Number two is for me probably gonna be a seducer. So one of these guys. Now the seducer is another fly that you can tie in a bunch of different sizes, bunch of different colors. And I think it's a great fly because it represents a shrimp, a bait fish, you know, it could be a crab, just depending on the color and the size you tie it. So that is definitely a go-to for me. I especially like the seducer if I need to throw it in a little bit shallower water because it doesn't tend to splash as much as a clouser would. Even a really lightly weighted clouser is gonna make a little bit more of a splash than a seducer. The seducer is nice because it does push some water. It does uh, have a little bit wider, you know, silhouette in the water. So if you need to get the fish's attention, seducer may be a little bit better than a clouser. So that's gonna be probably my second, my number two fly for redfish. Okay, so number three, is I'm just gonna say a category of flies. So there's a bunch of different flies that imitate a uh, shrimp. And that's what this guy does. That's what this guy does. This is a slider pattern, and that would probably be my go-to shrimp imitation, but there's a ton of different shrimp imitations. And you know, a lot of the year, shrimp are what redfish are gonna be eating. So you definitely wanna have a nice, assortment selection of shrimp patterns. These just happen to be a couple that I like to use, but I'm gonna say there's probably 20 other ones that I would be just as happy with, but just make sure you have some type of shrimp imitation in your box for redfish. Next up is going to be some type of crab pattern. Now, once again, a crab is gonna be something that's you know, you got a lot of different options for. This is a pretty fancy El Flexo crab. This is a crab that's famous for catching a lot of permit in the Seychelles and a lot of other places. But there's a lot of different crab patterns that will catch redfish. It's one of those, you know, you gotta have something because there's certain times a year when they won't eat anything else but a crab. Now the crabs are not my favorite patterns to throw because they tend to be heavier, so they're harder to cast and they're gonna hit the water with a splash. And so if you're not like spot on with your cast, you're more likely to spook a redfish with the crab than most of these other flies. Sometimes you just have to have a crab. Now this is sort of a goofy looking little crab that I tie, I have a, a video showing how to tie this crab. This one's done really well for me. And I, I wanna show you this one just because this one doesn't really look like a crab. <laughs> I call it a crab, but I'll show you that just to show the fact that there's a lot of different patterns that will work. This is just one that has been really good for me. So just have you a few crabs in the box. Like I said, it's not my go-to, but sometimes you have to have one. It's the only thing they'll eat 
and it can make the difference between catching fish and not catching fish. Now, another fly, another sort of category of flies, I'm gonna just call all topwater flies for redfish, just topwater flies for redfish. So there's lots of different options. There's gurglers, there's poppers, there's divers, but we're just gonna go topwater because usually you're throwing them in shallower water, so they're not really diving that deep if it is a diver. So here's a couple of my favorites. This is my popper, the Dito popper that I use for bass, but it is great for redfish if they're hitting poppers makes a pretty good noise and it's pretty easy to tie and pretty easy to cast and you can make it in a bunch of different colors. So for redfish, I typically, I'm gonna throw like a black one or maybe a red one. And this is another uh, one of my flies. This is a little bit of like sort of a slider diver. And I also have a video on how to tie this one. Top water doesn't happen as nearly as much as we want it to happen. One of the times I do resort to a top water is on a cloudy day when I know there's fish around, but we're having a hard time spotting the fish, we'll blind cast and cover water with a popper. It's a lot easier to do with a popper than some of the other subsurface patterns. And I feel like typically if it's a cloudy day, the redfish are gonna be not quite as spooky as it would be on a bright sunny day. So sometimes a popper is great. Another time we'll throw poppers if, if we're getting into really thick pods of fish when you know they're kinda all got their noses down, they're not very spooky at all and sometimes just dropping a popper in the middle of a pot of fish and giving it just a little twitch is enough to get their attention and it's pretty cool to see a redfish come up and smash a popper. <laughs> all right so those five flies or those five types of flies pretty much are going to catch all the redfish you need to catch. If you have some suggestions of some other patterns that people should check out definitely throw that in the description. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, good luck on the water.